Circle and Broken, the story of a basket and its people. Margot Faye's Raven, pictures by E.B. Lewis. Now you've asked me, child, how I come to sew. Well, put yourself in Grandma's arms and listen to a circle tale from long, long ago. Once your old-timey grandfather lived in a village by a fine flowing river across a wide, deep ocean in faraway Africa. On the hills by the river grew pale stalks of rice to feed the village and the spirits of the land. By the banks of the river grew tall, grassy reeds to weave into baskets to winnow the rice. One day after harvest, when he was no longer a boy, but not yet a man, your old-timey grandfather was led by the men who lived in the village to a grove in the forest where the palm trees grew. It was their sacred place, the Pura Brush, not far from the rice and the fine flowing river, where the men beat their drums and a boy became a man. Can you bring water in a basket? A masked spirit asked him there. When he answered yes, the men of the village took him into the grove, gave him a name, and taught him all they knew, just as I'm teaching you. They taught him to make ropes and nets and traps, to hunt in the woods to and harrow and hoe, to make drums from logs to pound as he danced, to sew great baskets to hold the rice. The basket starts here, they said, and taught his fingers to talk, to make a knot first, a coil, a circle and broken. Then his basket grew and grew, circle on circle, coil on coil. And when his fingers talked just right, the wet season came, his basket held the rain, and the men were pleased, just as I'm pleased with you. But the wide, deep ocean held the rain too. And the rain fell bitter as your grandfather's tears when the slave men came and bound him in chains and stole him from his village to a ship bound for a strange new land. In the port of Charleston, he was put on a stand and heard the auction man cry, going fast, going slow, going high, going low. He was sold to a master who owned a great plantation by a long curving river that flowed into the ocean that touched the shores of his faraway Africa. He lived in a shanty shingled with cypress. He worked in the rice fields from day clean to sun go red. But long night after long day, he sewed baskets in the old way. From the bulrush that whooshed and hushed by the marshes and the rivers that flowed to the sea, the grasses brought him comfort. His fingers knew their secret. Never forget, they whispered. As he sewed palmetto strips in and out, around and through, his circle grew and grew. And when his fingers talked just right, his basket held the rain, and he remembered from where he came. Now on a nearby plantation lived your old-timey grandmother, who came too from a village across the wide, deep ocean. Long ago, when she was not yet a woman, but no longer a girl, the woman of the village took her into the sandy bush their sacred place, and taught her all they knew. She learned to grow a garden of cassava and sweet potatoes, to fish with nets when the river was low, to winnow rice in a fanner basket, tossing the grain up fast and slow. She learned to sew small baskets to hold the treasures of her hut, ginger, palm fruit, and cola nuts. When her fingers talked just right, each coil touched so tight her basket held the rain. One day, in the shadow of the big house, your old-timey grandfather wed your old-timey grandmother. They had children, and the baby slept in the sun, in Moses' baskets, while the field work was done. And when the babies cried, your old-timey grandmother sang to them, soft as gray moss low as going out as the going out tide. Then those children had children and those children too. Till one day Yankees came with cannon sounding, pounding, booming over the land. What's coming, Grandma? The yard children cried. Freedom, she said. And the lap children watched as the sea of blue coats went marching, marching by. 
while the basket children lay looking up, not knowing that everything was changing like clouds blowing in the sky. Now it was time af- now it was the times after slavery when your great 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 grandfather wrote sh- shares on this land of marsh, sea, and sky, where the creek beds rose high on the old rice fields, melting them away like the shadows into shade. He built a boat of wood and took it to the sea, far past the shores where the sweet grass grows. Rowing in, he had fish for his family and fish to sell. Then, long night after long day, he told children tales of Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Fox till their laughing eyes danced like sunlight on the water, stars above the creek. Your great-great-great-grandmama heard the stories too. Next day, she carried fish and wares to market in the basket she'd made, toting her burdens and cares high on her head. And the circle went out and out, like the stones that milled their corn, and the net that caught their shrimp, and the ring shout that praised their Lord, just as I give praise for you. Then their children had children, and their children too, until one day across the great wide open ocean, a war began. The men of the island went away like the tide, while the women waited and sewed, long night after long day. When the men came home again, the bridge builders came too, tying islands to land with steel arch hands. What's coming, Grandma? The yard children cried. Tomorrow, she sighed. And the porch children watched as the bridges brought cars, and the cars brought people, and the basket children lay looking up at the sky, not knowing the old ways were leaving as fast as cars passing by. But some folks at night sat around the lamplight, showing the young ones the road ahead was over and through, as new hands talked to old friends, the bulrush, the sweet grass, palmetto, and pine. And those children had children who put up wooden stands to show their baskets along the highways and in the marketplace where the tourists came through and thought the beauty of old baskets was something anew, just as my baskets are new to you. While the women sat behind their stands, their sacred place, sewing and sharing with daughters all they knew, the men took the boys to their sacred place, the dunes and the marshes by the creeks and the sea, to cut the bulrush and pull the sweet grass and dry it in the sun as it had long been done. And so it has always been, time flowing like a river, circle going out like a pebble in a pond, until I came along, your mama and you. And time has come now, child, for you to learn the knot that ties us all together, the circle unbroken. And when your fingers talk just right, that circle will go out and out again, past slavery and freedom, old ways and new, and your basket will hold the past just as surely and tightly as my arms now hold and circle you.